Tonight, our dirty dining investigation continues with a new bombshell. Yesterday, we exposed the worst restaurants in Kent County when it comes to health violations that can make you sick. Now, we're finding something that surprised even the Kent County Health Department. The public website the county uses to track restaurant safety makes it almost impossible for you to find out about the history of the county's worst offender. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker is taking his discovery to county health leaders tonight. Ken. And Brian, and Sue, whether you want to call it an alias or an AKA, what we found is that it's all in the name. The sign on the restaurant on Clyde Park in Wyoming reads Oriental Asian Buffet. It's also what you'll find on their menu. That's how customers know it. But go to the Access Kent website, then to the health department's list of restaurant violations, the site that lets you track food safety on your own computer. Under Oriental Asian Buffet, you will find a history of critical violations, but a history that ends in 2012. Nothing for the last five years. Records show it was quote unquote, in compliance, a perfectly safe place to eat. Nice. It looks to me like if someone wanted to search for Oriental Asian Buffet, it would come up like no violations. That's because the Kent County Health Department listed as Asian Garden even though that name does not show up anywhere in or on the building. Under that name, there is plenty. Your more health code violations. I housey food. Restaurant. You don't understand. In the county. A target aid analysis of Kent County Health Department records shows Asian Garden had 39 critical violations in the last three years, more than any restaurant in the county. It was fined a total of $600. Um, food kept <clears throat> too warm, too cold. Cockroach, live roach, and these are routine inspections. The name confusion was news even to the Kent County Health Department. The number one violator that we found is hidden behind another name. I don't know if you were aware of that or? No, I, I wasn't aware of that, but we have 2,300 restaurants and I don't, you know, Keep track of all of them. Nikki Konetska wrote a review in September on the Oriental Asian Buffet Facebook page after she says her son got sick eating there. If I do a search for, what is it, Oriental Asian, nothing shows up. Wow. And that's what's on the sign. Right. Does that surprise you? Very much so. It also appeared to lead to confusion in November when another customer complained to the health department about an all-night bout of diarrhea and lower intestinal pain. The complaint identified the culprit as Oriental Asian Buffet. It appears from the online info that they were last inspected in 2012 with a number of violations reported, the customer wrote, quote, please check them out as I didn't want others to get sick. The complaint led to a full inspection that uncovered significant food safety risks. It also led to a conference between the county and the restaurant. But the county continued to identify it as Asian Garden. State business records don't help clear up the confusion. They show Asian Garden Incorporated in 2011. They also show that Oriental Asian Buffet Incorporated in June 2016. Both show the same address on Clyde Park, but different resident agents, though they have the same last name. Both companies are listed as active. This has been five years that they've been inspected under, by you guys under the name Asian Garden, <clears throat> even though their sign says Oriental Asian uh, Buffet, and their menu says Oriental Asian Buffet. If you're a customer of there and you wanted to look up to see if this place is safe, you wouldn't be able to find out. Yeah, that's definitely something we can look into, so. Now we told the county about this about two weeks ago and we checked the food safety website just a few minutes ago and it still wasn't fixed. And we have a lot more on our website, including an interactive list of all 10,000 serious violations that we went through, allowing you to search for your favorite restaurant. We also have an interactive map of the top 10 violators. No, okay, yeah. that's troubling, Ken, now we're Let's push to 11 here for a little bit. We're talking about a rat tail and Rangoon. Yes, a rat tail and a crab Rangoon. Basically, we're, we looked at all 700 complaints filed against restaurants in Kent County over the last three years and found a number of disturbing complaints, including well, there's one where they, the, one restaurant had fish hanging on a line on top of the roof. Oh. Um, 
but that, this one had that a, might catch your attention. Yeah, this one had a, a rat tail and a crab rangoon. So. All right. We will see you at uh, 6.30 on Facebook Live as well and tonight at 11. Thanks, Ken. Thank you, Ken.